I'm Chris Berman. Let's get straight to the action. In our first game this week, we had the Bills edge their way to a narrow three-point win. The Cowboys won this contest, but will stay at the third place in the NFC East. In a long-standing NFC rivalry, we had the Packers pick up their eighth win of the year. Peerless Price stepped it up this week and gave his team some added firepower for the win. Jake the Snake Plumber threw for 250 plus yards and helped his Broncos beat the Dolphins. In San Diego, right by Coronado Bay, we had the Chargers squeeze out a four point victory. Bengals, Patriots. Ben Corey Dillon is just thinking, let's get out of the shadow of our own goal line. There's a first down. What shadows? The only shadows of defenders behind him. He could go all the way. A 98-yard run. The Patriots win this one by the final score of 31 to 24. Down in Tempe, Arizona, we had the Cardinals walk away with a six-point victory. The Seahawks lost on the road and will have to travel again next week to meet the Jets. The Texans accumulated over 150 return yards in their win at Reliant Stadium. The Giants lost this one, but will stay at number one in the NFC East. Tony Gonzalez stepped it up this week and gave his team some added firepower for the win. We had a big injury in this one, and Trey has the lowdown for us. Trey? All right, Chris, thanks. Unfortunately, we did have some big injuries this week. But before we get to those, we're going to run down the rest of the NFL. James Hodgins might be the biggest loss on this list. Knee tendinitis is the report. He'll be out for the rest of the season. Now, on to even bigger news, as you may have already heard. Corey Dillon said he knew his season was over the second he went down. And indeed, his club will need to find someone to pick up the rushing slack. Now we'll move on to our top story of the day. Lance Schulters will be on the sidelines for a while, and that is not good news for his club. So that'll do it for now. Boomer, back to you. Bears, Jaguars. Matthew Hatchet is ready at the 31-yard line. Play gets underway, close coverage. Oh, now with a beautiful move, gets open, and it's a six spot. The Jaguars go on to win this by the final score of 37 to 17. The bus, Jerome Bettis, was responsible for over 150 yards rushing and helped his Steelers beat the Jets. We had an interesting free agency pickup of note here. Trey's got the lowdown for us. Trey? All right, Chris. Let's switch gears and talk about players that'll have new homes in the National Football League as free agency continues to play such a huge role in determining a team's makeup. Jason Simmons is on the move as he gets a contract for what can only be referred to as crazy money. Three years, $1.3 million. Kevin Mathis is going to find himself with a new club, and he'll be in a new tax bracket, too. Four years, $2.1 million. In the gentle climbs of the Carolinas, we had the Panthers fall apart and lose by 25. And in our final game, we had the Redskins come away victorious. All right, Boomer, thanks. Time to check out our playoff races now as December is officially upon us. Let's start it out with a look at the AFC. Meanwhile, let's take a look at how things stand over in the NFC. So there you have it, still plenty of intrigue left in this NFL season as the home stretch madness is only just beginning. So that'll do it from here. Boomer, we send it back over to you. That'll do it here for Pivotal Week 14. Things ought to get very interesting over the next three weeks, huh? Before we go, my primetime players' game balls go out to a few gentlemen that are pushing their teams toward the playoffs. That'll do it, sports fans. I'm Chris Berman, and thanks so much for joining us here in the Bristol studios. We'll see you next week right here on ESPN, the worldwide leader in sports.